Hello, welcome to Minecraft Maker. This is Theron, and uh, welcome to my, uh, uh, I have a cactus farm. It's super non-efficient, but you know, it works. <gasps> oh no, that works, that works. Oh, I'm learning. Okay. Interesting, so. I can get rid of this and get rid of this. Anyway, um, I, I only recently got some cactus. Uh, and it was because there just aren't any desert biomes anywhere near here. So can I plant them like that? I think I can. Okay. Then we'll put the, the rest over here. We will go visit the desert biome at some point here. Um, but in the meantime, I'm playing around a little bit. Because I would like to build a cactus farm the main reason i went looking for cactus was because i wanted green sheep and lime and cyan and the, the only way to get let me go back in there the only way to get those um readily was to use uh, green dye from cactus cactus green so i've been collecting i've been collecting wool in different colors and playing with carpets so I got some blue carpet here, and I've got some uh, purple carpet in here, which is nice. Um, and then I've got some blue and then some light blue down here. I think it looks nice. Um, still playing around. Also creating uh, some paintings. So I'm just playing around with the different, uh, different possibilities here. Um, if I come over here. So this is my little sheep jail. I like the sounds uh, so I've got two of each color of sheep so I can breed some more if I need to and I like the green I like the green a lot so then I've got a little dispenser at the back of each one with some water to push the the wall blocks out to me so I don't have to go in there and I was having horrible problems the reason I've got it well I still have to go in sometimes um, the, the reason I've got it all bricks and and not all fences and I didn't give them more room was they kept getting out which I think is a problem with some of the snapshots uh, that's why the animals keep getting out of the uh, the fenced in area over here but with uh, I'm, I'm playing W21B I think um, and with W20B they seem to stay inside their areas a little bit better they don't glitch out as much so I don't know if that's indeed something they fixed or not. But as I said, I am using uh, 21B. It's Thursday the 22nd. So there was just a snapshot update. Just trying it out here. Um, I do like this. I like this green wool. It's it's a nice it's a nice color. I'm gonna have to use the <coughs> carpeting somewhere. Um, not quite sure wh where yet it's it's a nice dark hunter green anyway um i have not recorded in a little bit uh because last hey thank you um because last uh last weekend or this past weekend i went up to the bay area for maker fair and i have a cute little story to tell about that uh, I belong to a hacker space in Culver City here in Los Angeles. It's, it's technically in LA, but we like saying Culver City because it's west side and it sounds kind of cool, I guess. Hey, chicken. Come here. Come here. What are you doing? Look at me. Look at me. Hi. Thank you. Um, so, you see, they do still get out kind of annoying but it does seem to be improved as of the 20b snapshot so i still have to go and breed up animals to replace the ones i got out and i suppose i could drag them back in but i get a pretty constant supply of leather and cooked chicken that way not that i need to cook chicken because my cooked chicken kentucky lava fried chicken thing still works um, yields have gone down a little bit since one of the snapshots caused all the chickens to glitch out of the 
machine, but it's fine. I probably had too many in there. So this uh, space I belong to, we do like technology education. We're a 501c3 nonprofit, and we do. Uh, so we go to Maker Fair each year. I organize the uh, the Maker Fair trip, and is that okay up there? Yeah, I guess. Uh, I organize the Maker Fair trip, and this year we had uh, we had basically a bunch of member projects. So we are a kind of a shared workshop for our members oh I love the sound of the rails so we're a shared workshop for our members we uh, we have tools and uh, workspace for people to work on personal projects and we teach classes and teach people how to do electronics and programming and radio and all that good stuff so we do make a fair each year uh, it's just up in the Bay Area so it's a relatively close trip and a whole contingent of people go up and we get a booth and we sit and talk to people about things like programming and um, and uh, 3D printing and uh, radio stuff so one of our members had a uh, cool um, musical instrument that she called the hexachord and uh, so we were we were demonstrating that oh look I got this potion of fire resistance from a witch fell into my trap here and the glowstone dust uh output has gone up a little bit anyway um and so uh, our friends at d's maker which is a uh, three they're a company that makes 3d printers and they they were started by one of our members so they're kind of a offshoot of crash base uh they they brought over they had a 3d scanner so we were scanning people making 3d models in them and they also uh, loaned us a Bukito, which is a 3D printer. Uh, it's a small little compact 3D printer. And uh, so I put some carpet in up here and I put in some chairs and tables, just the usual nonsense. Um, just to decorate it a little bit. I, I'm kind of a big function guy when it comes to Minecraft. So putting in stuff like this, I have a lot of space here to fill. I don't really want to divvy it up into rooms. I don't really... I mean, the only thing, uh, once I get, um, once I improve my situation in the nether sum, um, and I, and I'm able to go take care of a blaze, <coughs> pardon me, um, um, I, I, I may set up a brewing, um, a brewing stand up here. So I may do like one of these rooms as a brewing room. So I put red carpet in here. I'm probably going to put blue or green in here. I'll probably put the hunter green in, in this one and then blue up here and then up at the very top I'll just leave it bare bricks let's go visit the gold farm so we uh, we were printing out objects all weekend long on the 3d printer and I hear what I hear a pig man where are you I'm thinking I might be able to expand this one more block one more portal which would mean another uh, I mean hundreds of more obsidian, but I think I can do it. I think I have enough room and just extend it out one more here They'd be over this little corner bit, but they'd eventually fall in. Oh, hi. How are you doing? Yeah, you want uh, there's space on the ride come on down Yeah, no, no, come on. Come on. You can do it Yeah, oh, you sound you sound unhappy uh, so we so we had the 3d printer there and we were printing out these little things they're they're kind of planetary gears they're like a, a central a central gear five gears surrounding that they're kind of planetary bearings i think is what you would call them and then all of that was nestled in one big outer bearing outer gear and they're kind of ridiculously fun to play with um, but oh here we go yeah Oh, you're moonwalking into it. Go, go, yay! Um, oh, shoot. I need to put a bed out here. Because it's getting dark now. and I mean, it's totally safe. I've got this all lit up, It's and there's no mobs anywhere around, so it's totally safe to sit out here in AFK. But it's not, not a lot of fun. Um, so I can come out here and watch the, uh, the sunset. 
So we were printing out these, you know, the, these planetary bearings, and they're really fun to play with. And once you pick them up, it's it's kind of hard to put them down because they're they're just fun to twirl around. Um, but the kids, the kids really weren't really weren't feeling it. They were more impressed with some of the printing samples that we had there. We had a little companion cube from Portal, not little. The thing was like six inches on the side, and we had some uh, some Tardises. Doctor Who and the kids the kids were digging those and uh, um, and really from my perspective uh, our our whole audience the the audience we're trying to reach at craft space is really the kids um, we want to get to them before they get sort of sucked into the whole mentality of well you have to go buy anything your electronics and and if you want a uh, a device that does something you have to go buy it so we want to get we want to get to the kids before that gets ingrained in their brains so i find sort of eight to ten is kind of a perfect uh perfect time frame so i was focusing on the kids a lot and i noticed all of them were wearing minecraft t-shirts so i had a i have a 3d model of a creeper on my computer as one will and uh, so we put that on the printer and started printing out creepers and the kids were so much more interested after that <laughs> we couldn't uh, we couldn't keep the creepers on the table because the kids who really like the creepers I kept giving them away because we can print more um, I just wanted to keep one for myself because I didn't have a good a green uh, a, a creeper printed in out of green plastic so I, I i managed to hang on to just one but i was giving giving them away left and right and uh the hula, hooligans were stealing them off the table when they thought i wasn't looking and uh it encouraged more of them to ask questions like what is a 3d printer which is kind of awesome okay let's uh you know what i'm not gonna hang around here all night i don't know how much more talking time I got our path back to home is reasonably well lit so I think we can afford we can survive the trip I just wanted to come out and show the carpeting the little interior decoration that I had done uh, no additional drops here so although notice that the the gold farm is actually going reasonably well better than I was expecting um, uh, we're not going to get enough gold blocks out of this to do a, um, do it like, you know, a full beacon set up out of gold or whatever, but not bad. Um, certainly will help uh, pay for the, uh, the powered rails that we need to extend this further out. Um, I've explored a little bit that way and sailed several hundred blocks out that way and it's just ocean and i don't know how far i gotta go to get to more land so i don't know if i i have continued building the bridge out that way a bit but i don't know that that's going to be worth it um looking for cactus i went exploring all over the place i went i went that way and i went that way and i went that way and it was uh it was I had to wander quite a bit but I did eventually find a desert biome that was the problem I just didn't have any deserts around here deserts or mesas uh, I did eventually find one so I have to go back and play around and maybe that's the more appropriate place to uh... whoa spider where's the spider ah screw him not gonna follow me in here um, so maybe I'll maybe I should build a bridge out to the out to the uh, out to the desert all right we're back in the nether still have my safe nether set up hey how's it going you like the uh, like the layout yeah okay uh, so yeah I've been I've been extending this down trying to dig up a bunch of nether rack relatively easy to do of course and uh 
trying not to get into trouble with the the pig men again oh here's another one hey dude um and then whoa they're all over the wow i don't know convention there's one right outside um yeah okay so then i also have been cooking all that nether rack uh into bricks which i don't really have any left and i'll show you why coming in you want to come in can i get through you okay there we go so yeah so i've been building this so i figure there's there's two approaches whoa i get really lousy frame rates here so i figure i got two approaches one is i want to go down probably like over there maybe probably a safer place to go and then one i want to go up so I start building this a little chest here to store some stuff and go up here so this obviously affords a little bit of protection from the ghasts because I can just step down here so they can't see me and I dig up enough I'm almost up to this layer so I'm gonna punch through here I think which might be a little dangerous but then I want to get up to where I'm at like kind of at the level where all this glowstone is and then spread out a little bit and build myself my own little nether fortress because I haven't seen one yet but they're around I'm sure like what is that I don't know um, so so I'm playing around uh, I've got things set up in the nether here where I'm reasonably safe that is an awfully square structure isn't it interesting uh, this these nether bricks are expensive. It takes uh, you only after you get done cooking, it, it takes like one whole uh, you know what I'm saying. It it takes four nether rack to get one nether brick, which is kind of crazy. But you know this place is lousy with nether rack, and it's easy to mine. So anyway, so this is my nether situation at the moment. Hi. Um, the pig men seem reasonably chill as long as you don't mess with them. Oh, shoot. I see it. Yeah, anyway. The other downside of another brick is it's uh, dark as all get out. So you can't really see it. Okay. So anyway, that's, uh, that's that. I'm going to step back in here. Back into my little shop too. Oh hey dude. You have any gold? It's dark. Yeah, I'm gonna go to sleep. Oh, did you just get back through? No. Yeah, you you whoa. Oh, I got two of them in here. Okay, you guys chill. I will kill you in the morning. Oh, and they count as monsters. Shoot. Huh. It's almost morning now. Okay. I don't want I want to separate you guys hi I want your tiny morsels of, uh, of gold I don't need zombie pigmen running around the overworld either let you outside and keep you away from the portal want to come on out come on out oh hello yeah come on dude hey look door it's like a portal only not yeah Okay, I suppose if I close you, I can murderize you. Oh, did I one shot him? Ooh, we've gotten that achievement before. All right, I have fortune on this, uh, or looting on this sword, so I got five gold nuggets out of that. Not bad. Okay. 
So anyway, I think that's uh, that's kind of all I had to show you this time. Obviously, I've made some uh, some changes around here. Um, but I, I, as I said, it's it's been a while since I've recorded. I wasn't able to uh, up in the Bay Area. I don't have a very mobile recording setup, so. Um, so, uh, I know a lot of this is new. I mean, I fenced in this whole area. I built the uh, the sheep prison. Um, cleared out, rearranged this a bit. I had a snow golem in here, which was cool. Give me a nice source of uh, snow. But he disappeared. I don't know if he melted or if he got out or what. Um, and then uh, I'm kind of bummed that I built this right here because this is where the sunset happens when I'm inside my building here so now it's kind of in the way so I might move it and then I'm thinking maybe putting the cactus farm over here because I got a nice little expanse of land here this is my whole storage setup oh which which you kind of kind of saw um, made a big area Trying to use wood, trying to use other materials other than just this stone brick. I may lay down some uh, some carpeting on here. I like the fact that the carpeting doesn't reduce, it doesn't block the light from the jack-o'-lantern. So you can put down the carpeting, get plenty of lighting, no torches hanging around, and you don't have the jack-o'-lanterns. I don't mind the jack-o'-lanterns in the floor. I don't think it's a bad look, but, um, but this was meant as a storage room, and I have a storage arrangement here i saw um so i think it was misconduct set up a storage system that was kind of like this i don't like hanging the signs directly on the sides of the of the chest because it makes them a little difficult to get to and unless you put them on a diagonal they're just kind of a pain but like this you don't it's it's only half efficient space wise but you know i've, I've got plenty here Siri, is it raining? Yeah, apparently. Okay, so I like the fact that you can lay carpet down on top of the jack-o'-lanterns. And... Whoa, that's weird. Interesting. Uh, so you can lay the, the carpet down on the jack-o'-lanterns and uh, it doesn't block out the... It doesn't block the light. So you get the... Make it look the way you want and you get your light. So I'm only using, you know, about a third of the chest along this wall. My plan was to put chests all along this wall too, and then in back. So I think I got plenty of, uh, I think I got plenty of room here. So wait, chicken, and so I'm sort of organizing stuff manually. Um, and yeah, so I still have a few chests out here which are either miscellaneous things or stuff that I don't have a good way of dealing with so I'm gonna have to figure out or go to the the trouble of moving all those but I've got uh, basic uh, wool stuff here I've got all my different colors of wool so I'm trying to build up one complete stack of each another complete stack of each and then a complete stack of uh, carpet made from each so just so I can go ahead and make take advantage of them um, as I said I don't have I haven't found a I haven't traveled that far in the nether so I haven't found I haven't gone to the trouble of uh, <clears throat> getting any uh, blaze rods so I haven't been able to, to start any brewing so that's kind of next big goal uh, I just wanted to get a little bit more established in the nether before I go too crazy. And then the other thing is, some of these things, I'm, I'm a little bit bugged that you can't put stuff down on top of carpet. And most items, full blocks, it doesn't matter. But like chests, and obviously this anvil here, it does. It's a little bit annoying. So what I've been doing, the bed is the same way. So and pressure plate and the space in front of the door or the this the space occupied by the door so I've been I've been replacing the block underneath with a full block of wool of the same color so for the, it, it's not too it doesn't look too funny 
This is indented a little bit because the pressure plate is about the same height as the carpet. So that one works okay. And this one is, yeah, it looks okay. Doesn't look great, looks okay. So anyway, it's a rainy day. We'll uh, sit here and watch the rain. And uh, hope you enjoyed watching. Thank you for watching. And we'll figure out our, uh, our lovely cactus farm at some point uh, very soon. Because I, have, I, have, I probably have plenty of cactus. But it might be nice to, uh, if I ever find a spider spawner, it might be, might be nice to use some cactus to set up a, a string farm. Because I don't have a whole lot of string that I need a whole lot but you know yeah anyway that's it thank you and I will see you next time